live here at the Papillon Institute of Art. Uh, this is my first solo show, so I'm introducing myself to the world. You know, I'm pretty known out here with my art just from a uh, portrait standpoint, so I'm, I'm, I'm sharing that and then I'm going to start reintroducing the, the, the skills that I've been acquiring over the last few months through school and uh, bringing a little more abstract into the world. I just like to vibe out and, and let the canvas speak in a sense, you know what I mean? Uh, Whatever they're conveying in their, in their face, I like to kind of express through color with, with, with their emotion. You know, I, mean, I like to blend the two and make sure that they complement each other and, and kind of give life to the artist. I like to pay homage to, to the dead and, and, and to the living, but I always look back on the ones who, who provided us with music or culture or anything that you know gave us some substance to appreciate. Back in the day, it was a self-portrait where uh, you know I'm outside of the box and it's just basically me freeing my mind and, and expressing myself in my imagination, you know what I mean? Just, just letting everything go. Everywhere that, that, that art takes me, everywhere it allows me to go, I'm, I'm going with it. So I'm, I'm just enjoying myself while I'm feeding off of this. The downtown Train, I met them at a, uh, an art event I did not too long ago. They were playing, they were pretty, pretty dope, soulful cats, and I, I like to blend culture, you know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a black artist, and a lot of people identify with me as a street artist. And I'm not so much a street artist as I am just an artist who came from, you know, a neighborhood. Thank God Keenan finally, you know, listen to me. No, just kidding. He's been drawing since he's been about three, I want to say. He refuses to sell me this one. This is like my favorite one where he's um, smoking the paintbrush, getting high off of his talent. He came into one of my art shows and he was doing live art there and the whole night everyone was like, dude, this guy is awesome. And I saw him do a live piece at the La Art for Art Mixer. Yeah. And so I was just enamored by it. It was amazing watching the progress from the beginning of the night. And my friend, who's coming, actually bought the piece by the end of the night because we just yeah, loved it. He so had much. lots of inquiries that, like, people were like, "Who is this guy? Where did he come from?" But for the past couple of years, I've been paying attention to everything my nephew does. I feel like he is achieving the ultimate. He's doing what he loves to do. I mean, anytime a young kid coming from where we come from and grow to do some stuff like this right here, it's awesome. I think that his, number one, it starts with his inner being and, and the uh, personality that he has as an artist. Being able to welcome people in and being able to share positive energy, giving it and receiving it, that's a, that's a blessing in itself. So that's what separates him from, you know, a number, number of different artists, being able to share community and being able to give back. He's, he has that innate talent. Having a mind like this is, to me is like having a, you know, a beautiful spirit. Math class, we should be paying attention. He used to draw some, draw some pictures. I know he was, he was, he was great to me back then. But it seems, you know, he just kept on going. Whatever he was doing, he stuck with it, and he's here where he wanted to be. He was very artistic. Yeah, at he, a young age. Yeah, he always had a pencil and notebook and he was always drawing, drawing little things for our church. Us growing up watching him draw, it was just pencil. So now seeing the color and how much he grew and it's really nice. It came out really nice. Um, from tattooing, artwork, from just overall painting, drawing, and now you have the whole effect here of what you see. You bring a crowd, you know what I'm saying, to know and to see them, somebody that you actually can say that you've known before, you know, you've done all this and seen the steps that he took and the hard work to get to where he's at now. Well, for one, I appreciate everybody even coming out. Just the support is, is just beautiful. I do it for uh, my passion and for, for other people that acknowledge it and get something out of it is, is, is what I do it for. It's what I really enjoy, you know what I mean? Out, out of getting it into other people's hands, you know what I mean? So this is family, it's friends, it's alumni from, from high school, all of that. So I'm just grateful for everybody who came out. Believe in yourself and never let somebody tell you that you know, you're not going to succeed. Whether it's abstract or it's crazy to you, stick figure, stick with it, you know what I'm saying? There's somebody out there to cater to. Big major love to everybody who came out. 
shout out to Michelle for letting me do this in, and Keisha for helping me put this on, and uh, the whole family who came out and supported. Everybody is family to me that, that, that showed their face, uh, whether it could be blood or schoolmates or whatever, you know. I just appreciate everybody who showed their love. Shout out to the downtown train for coming through and, and uh, playing this beautiful event for me, keeping the, keeping the, 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 the festivities alive. And shout out to my girl Roxy up here for doing a beautiful job. Much love and thank you for coming out to Harmony's Battle.